What is up, 1320 fans? It is day one, and we're here in Great Bend, Kansas to kick off Rocky Mountain Race Week. It's one of our favorite events all year. There's a bunch of cars in tech right now. We're gonna run through the tech line, see what's here, see some old friends, see some new cars, all that kind of stuff. And we'll take you guys to racing action a little bit later on. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and go through and check out all the cool stuff that just showed up. How's it going? It's going good, going good. The, uh, the turbo is what got my eye here. Well, it's in a weird place. And well, I'd say the turbo isn't that weird. I'd say the uh, the piping is though, because it just goes through the back window there, <laughs> in there. At least it's wrapped, right? Yeah, we added that. It makes a really nice armrest now, so it doesn't get too hot or nothing. Um, it's not too bad on the street. You know, on the track, we got our suit on, but man, you touch that thing after a pass. Like we made, we did did a couple of little pulls last night and got it on the brake. And as soon as you're done making boost, she's on fire. But you know, try to stay away from it. That's fair. That time, so That's fair. Not too bad. So you got this thing pretty loaded down. Like that thing's almost touching the dang ground. Right yeah, there. our street tires are like 30 inches tall, so it'll be a little higher. Gotcha. We, we might have to wrap to strap the old cargo carrier up some but it should uh i think it'll ride all right have you guys done race week before oh yeah okay so, th so nick uh nick taylor obviously me and him own mid america customs we have the truck so malboost is gone my camaro's broke so we decided to bring the truck out this time for the first time so this okay. will be our third one what's the goal with the, what's the goal with the truck for the week um you know i think if we can go five i'd like to go 550s 540s with it i think it could go a little faster if we're at home with not altitude so we've never been on a prep track with it we've never been on 26 with it. Okay. We're normally on bare asphalt, so this will be interesting today. All right. Hopefully, it doesn't like suck in birds or. Dude, I know. We're going. I think we're going to put it. I think Robert's bringing us an air filter for it because yeah, we normally don't ever have it on the street right. a lot, and we just it's all good. But it could eat a bird or two pretty easily. I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I feel like in the 1,400 miles, it's going to eat something. It's possible. So we'll see out there, man. Yep. Thanks. Good luck. Subject, I got it. He's not dead. He's just at home, right? No, I just want to say a little something. <laughs> he's like, kind of, he's right now. He's not doing good, dude. We, uh, to be honest, we took his plug wires. Oh no! And we took we took some of his wheels. Jeez. And he's sitting there. He's got a broken transmission. I mean, it's it's a tough break all he around. He needs a rest. He's been ridden hard. Yeah, I mean, he definitely. Now. So we're waiting on some parts, and then he goes back together. But. Okay, so we brought back Ruby, and what's the new guy? What yeah, we got, we got Mullet the El Camino. Mullet. Yes. Okay, what's the setup of Mullet? Yeah, we check it out. Try it. This is a Frankenstein Iceman intercooler. It's our uh, well, intercooled intake. It's our Freedom Liberty edition that we did with Frankenstein. We got Precision Twin 86s, and then we have a Texas Speed Dart Block LSX Steel 427. And uh, I mean, it's probably good for 2,000 horsepower. This setup is capable of. Case our performance fabrications built the car. Uh, for the most part, and it's been tuning it. I mean, it's been freaking amazing. It's got all this cool stuff. It's it's basically uh, just built exactly for what we're doing this week, for, and that's for, race week. So you guys just did, kind of, and not really a test test run, but kind of with Midwest Drags last yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. About seven hundred miles. How'd the car do? Dude, like so good. You know, we ended up we broke a couple things, but for a brand new car, we literally made three hits. It went a nine nine. An 8.5 and then a 7.90. We put it in the trailer, took it to the Midwest Drags. It performed awesome. Average is a 7.81 over Ooh. the week. What's the goal this week with the car? Uh, bottom sevens. Bottom, bottom sevens, sevens, and then like, we, we're still rooting for the 8.50 class. Ruby's Rudy? in the 7.50 class. Oh, okay, so, moved yeah, it up. She's she's capable of 7.50s, so she'll run in, hopefully right at that 7.50 mark, and then hopefully this will run at the bottom sevens mark, and see what happens. I mean, it's like we're jumping the cars up a whole bunch this right. year, so I'm really excited because our team is just like so ready for it. Dude, honestly, I just want to win my class and have a lot of fun, see these guys succeed and just enjoy it, you know, like it's a brand new car well, at the end of the day. I like the car. We Good. finished, we're winning. And are you running a hood? 
I have a hood, dude. Weird. I know. Weird. I'm thinking about just like leaving it here. It looks good with the hood. I know it does. It just gets in the way if you were working so. It kind of looks good, but I, I miss taking the hood off of your uh, minivan. Well, we didn't bring the minivan, so you go ahead and throw the hood on. What about the Suburban? I don't or know. It might, might be a little big. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, dude, like thank you, man. Good Appreciate luck. it. We'll just clean her with some 1320 Street Shine. Ooh! Looking clean. looking for. Seventy-seven for Jack, Stan, Jimmy, and Ruby. Whoa! Well, this is quite the setup. How's it going, man? How's it going? Too bad. This is a. Uh, tell me a little about what I'm looking at here. What we got? Uh, this is a uh, five sixty-five Merlin big block Chevy with a twenty eighty-eight millimeter turbos. Crowder cams. Are you making some steam, I'm guessing? A little bit of steam. Bowtie engine shop builds it. What kind of ETs are you? I'm guessing you have some passes on the car. Yeah, right? we've been low eights uh, on this setup this year. We should be hopefully deep into the sevens by the end of the week. What are you hoping for consistency? Are you going to try work with eights and keep uh, go from there or try to do a sevens right off the bat? I just, every time we let go of the button, I just want people's jaws to drop. That's all I care okay. about. <laughs> okay. Okay. As long as you, have you done a race week before? Yeah. Hell yeah. This is our third race week. Okay. okay. And then we put this car in the wall on 2.0 last year. Oh. Last fall, first night. This well, is the blue one. Okay. Well, yep. glad to see the car back. Yep. The setup looks ridiculous on this thing. Thank you. So, run eight sevens and make everybody happy. Yeah, yeah, run high sevens. High sevens and yeah. make everybody happy and make it back to this track. Yes, in on one Friday. Yeah. Yes. Cross our fingers. Well, I like the, what is it called? Meltdown. Meltdown. Meltdown Firebird. Hopefully it doesn't do that on the road, right? Well, it got that name because it tried to melt down last year right before 1.0. Oh, so. <laughs> gotcha. Well, good luck to you, man. Thanks, man. Hell Appreciate yeah. it. Sixty-six. No, no, no. It's it's in the back. It's it's. In. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? So, uh, you're, apparently you're driving this this week. Yep. Oh, so do we get do we get them next year? Do we all get our eights next year? I, I would love to be able to do that. That'd be great. <laughs> we got to work on making some okay. more money. I think. Real, real quick. Yeah. This, you just got it back. Makes twelve, twelve fifty right yep. now. Yeah. Twelve forty the wheels. It's not going to make nearly that much this well, week. That's yeah. for sure. And you're in the ten or eleven o. Ten o. Ten o. Have you done a drag hit in this car yet? Not since we fixed the transmission. I've made two pulls rolling hits, because I've only driven it for like 40 miles since I picked it up. We had a lot of prep work to do, okay. um, but it's it's still fast. That's for sure. What are you hoping for ET-wise? Just, just keeping the low we, 10 range? Or we have to do a 10 something to be competitive. So because I think You don't have a cage, right? Yeah. So what is, what's the goals for the week? I want to win the class, oh. but I mean, obviously finishing is important. This car is super reliable, uh, but if anything major breaks on it, we're pretty much out. Like anything other than coils, plugs, uh, Simple tire, stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. it's about the only thing we can fix on the road. All right. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. This is going to be a busy week. I mean, you're yeah, going to be is. driving this thing and you're good for luggage, right? You're good yep, for that. Yeah. Thank you, got, you, you, Fred. Oh, Fred nope. let me borrow his roof rack off the all road and we filled it up real nice. That's for sure. Oh, that's great. That works great. Fit a lot. Yeah, this is like 16 cubic feet. bag, my bag, all my safety equipment, my tire patch kit, fuel additive. Right. 
Yeah. Sounds good. good. Uh, we well, got our, our jack and jack stands in the front, my laptop bag. There's not really any more room. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Well, good luck. Thank you. We'll be hoping for 10 000 with an O. That'd be great. All right. That'd we'll see great. you up there, man. Thank good you. luck today. You're not allowed to go faster than the 10.0. Shame on you. 991 though, not bad. 138, pretty good mile per hour. 991's a little quick there, sir. Yeah, but you know what? It's definitely something to work with. I was I was expecting to be a few tenths off, and we're like 8,300 off. So what's what the game plan for next match? Just let off at what, like 1,000 foot? No, we're or? just gonna do it by the computer. I floor it the entire time. Okay. So I don't want to have to do anything other than floor it. So Martin's gonna click the, the keyboard a little bit. Enhance, enhance. <laughs> Take the power down a little bit so that we just floor the whole time and let yeah, it. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're literally like 20 horsepower yeah. off of a 10 Yeah. So, this is going to be good. All right. Congrats. I guess. <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? Uh, finishing the bottle. Finishing what? Put the bottle. In. Oh, okay. See anything new? Oh, you, you guys caged it. Yeah. I did not notice that. Yeah. What other changes we got from last year? All right. Hold on. So we got two jacks now, so we can get it up faster, and the rear end actually goes lower, so it gets higher. Okay. So the car gets higher, and then we jack stand it because it the only really good spot to pick it up is on the rear end. Oh, you got a trailer this year. All right, yeah. you guys are you big dog in it now. Yeah, we decided to get a trailer. And right here, we sent our intake out to Induction Solutions and got it um, a fogger, two stage fogger put in it. How much are you guys spraying? 200, I think. 200? For right now. Gotcha. Just gotcha. in the one stage. I don't think we got the second one hooked up yet. And this is still a stick shift yes. setup deal? Okay. And uh, we have a new transmission, the new T TKX that they came out. Um, we were pushing Liberty Gears to get a uh, TKX faceplate in, and we got one. Nice! First ever one. And then we also have a spare, which we actually have room for now. So you got two transmissions that nobody else has? Uh, that one's not faceplate. Oh, okay, gotcha. But if we, if we were to break that transmission, because we don't know it's going to break, slide that in, we call Liberty Gears, and they send us another one. Oh! Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, they had a spare, like, ready, because we don't know it's going to break. Are you, wait, you're 13 this year, yeah? 13, yeah. And this is your thir third race, fourth race week? This is my third race week. Third race week. Second one in this car. You going for best crew chief again yeah. this year? Oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. What's pie in the sky goal? What are we doing? I don't know, average of 10. Average of 10? That's what I want to do. All right. Good luck to you, man. All right, thanks. So that is Blaine. This is his third race week. He is 13 years old, and he helps his dad out on the car. By helps him out, I mean, he's like a 40-year-old that knows everything about the car, but he's 13. Like, he talks about the cars just like any 40-year-old would. He's, he's like an old soul. Little slow. Little slow. I think they were shooting for 10, so uh, hopefully it gets a little quicker throughout the day. He did look like you spun off the line pretty good, so maybe next round might not be so slow. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen show up to a race week in my life. 
What is this? Now, I need to. I need the full rundown. What the? No, you don't. He you don't wear that. Going down the track. All right. Let me walk you over here. Tell me what you did and why and what is it? What are we looking at here? Well, we want to build uh, the old Munster mobile. The old I, Munster coach. I got that. Yeah. Okay. So we built a Red Rock version. We took a 1925 Studebaker, split it, stretched it, and just blinged it out. Just put a little bit of everything on the car. Is it a chassis homemade or is it a truck or what is it? It's a 84 Corvette front and rear. I'll explain my own chassis. Go in. <laughs> so it's got independent suspension all the way around. Yeah. When did you build this? We started about a year ago and I finished it up. Well, we switched motors last Tuesday so we're getting ready to come up here. What's it running for a uh, power plant? What do we got? What engine? engine uh, we got big block Chevrolet 454. 454. Turbo 400. Okay, Turbo 400 rear end. What do we got there? It's a, I have a 84 Corvette. Just whatever comes yeah, stock. Whatever is the 84 okay. Corvette. I see the wheels, and I was like, those are those are C4 Corvette wheels. Yeah. And you, it's got everything. you did you trailer this here or drive this here? I drove it. What? Hell yeah! From where? We live we live up around Amarillo, so I drove from Amarillo up here. About this 200, about 280 miles. 280 miles in this? Oh yeah. I guess you're about to do like 1400, so. Yeah. What? This is a good test run. I, I guess. <laughs> okay, so what's in the trailer? Because that thing looks massive there. Yeah, that's all of our, we got our tools, our gas, our spare tires, our, our grill, our food, everything. And on the, the casket, that's where we keep our luggage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's exactly what do you do, what class are you doing? What are you hoping ET wise? What what do you think? No idea. So We've never run the car. Uh, okay, so year, if they'll just give us a, a chance to make a pass, we'll just kind of see what it'll run and, and put it in something. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How fast did you get this thing going on the way here? Oh, we run about 70, 75. Yeah. It do, it does it feel safe? Oh hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's smooth. I mean, the long wheelbase and everything is smooth. <laughs> Runs good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Fred as well, but you, you you win Fred for the day. You 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 get the name. There you go. That's great. This thing is wild. Hey Fred. No. I, I like what you did here. I'm excited to see it go down go down the strip. It may not be bad, but it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. I'm a, it's gonna do a 16 set. I figure 16. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see what it does. Good luck to you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Hell yeah. It's got a 454 big block, turbo 400, front suspension and rear suspension is C4 Corvette out of an 84 Corvette, and uh, he just built a frame between. This thing is wild. This thing is not safe would be another word for it, but this is America and you can do whatever the hell you want. Clearly, look at this thing. Hmm. Okay, how many seats? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Six, seven, eight. You can see eight people in here. Probably not safely, but comfortably. Oh, this we got seat belts there. Put the that there, there. They swivel. They you sit in front or back. They hold it onto the ground, so it's nice. They're all strapped. Yeah. You know, we got we got seat belts here, and I got my five point harness up there. No, it's a blast. That's a great class. This got lap belts here. We've got this, sir. This is a rig right here. This is a rig. They said these lights work too. They got LEDs. These work? Yeah, they got LEDs in them. Oh. Nighttime tonight, I want to see that. The little lanterns on the front, that's my signal lights. And the, and the little lantern on the back, that's my tag light. That's awesome. It's one of my favorite cars on race week right here. Tom, how we doing? Doing fine. How about yourself? Oh, nice, man? nice. We got that new sticker on there. Yeah, I like it. I got the old one on there too from last year. I like it. Yeah. Anything new with the car? Yeah. Oh, what I'll, we got? I'll pop the hood and show you. We uh, put a different intake onto it. I had Frankenstein make me a, a billet intake. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it, it seems it performs better on the dyno. I mean, it. 
and then uh, we got the hard turbos on too, but we had this on last year, but uh, took them back to hearts and, and uh, they reworked them for me a little bit. And I mean, it's working good. Good. And then I put a shot of nitrous on to it. What? Yeah, so that it'll spool it. I'm about to say just to spool it a little bit? Yeah, just to spool it. It comes on at 22. When I'm on the uh, two step, it'll come on 22. When it hits 48, it'll come off and then it'll drop down to 44. Got you. Just enough to get them the light. Where last year, uh, it was taking uh, 11 seconds, between 8 and 11 seconds, mm -hmm. three and a half seconds. Oh, yeah. that's real quick. That's real quick. Very nice. Yeah, that's only a 75 shot. That'll be good for every every part of the car. We'll enjoy that's, that. That's going to be uh, good for uh, Vandermeer. Oh, I've that. never been able. To oh, build, oh, that's true. Yeah. I've never been able to build any more than two pounds there. Jeez. Yeah. What are you, What are you hoping for the car this week? What are you What are you thinking? To be back here Friday. Okay. That's a great goal. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this so many times, you know that's the number one goal right yeah, there. Yeah, just be back here Friday. Okay. You know, you know. Well, Tom, we'll get you. We'll let you get the car ready. Uh, get your stickers on everything. Try to stay cool. We got the Denali over there if you want to cool off in it. Yeah, yeah. If you want to ride this year, I got the air conditioning oh, working. Oh, too. hell yeah! All right, yeah. I, will, I will probably take you up that week. Well, this week, uh, as long as it doesn't overheat, you know, pulling the trailer. Right. It seems like. But if we're on flat level from here to Pueblo, but going through the mountains, I won't be running run the air conditioner there. That's that's understandable. Yeah. Yep. No, I'm I'm happy, and hopefully we can do as good as we did last year. Oh yeah. Good luck, Tom. We'll see it. We'll see you up there tonight. Thank you. Absolutely. We call that the Why Not Camaro because it says Why Not on the plate. Car's built by Larry Larson, and uh, it's a five, if I remember right, if they didn't change the engine setup, 540 with twin 98s. Could be bigger now because they're heart turbos, but last I knew it was 540 twin 98s, make a damn near 3,000 horsepower, and he's done race week a handful of times because very experienced guy right there. for Tom. That's a little slow for Tom, to be honest, but it's his first pass. Hopefully he gets another pass and we can light the wick a little more. A to B pass, though. A to B. Is going on it's got a tire on it well you guys piqued my interest i saw a tire on the front of fiesta i had to come talk to you about it <laughs> yep, yep. What, uh, what are we looking at only what's the setup what are we looking at it is a 1.6 liter b6 out of a mercury capri xr2 uh, i got a to 4 e turbo it's a water to air intercooler and car has ac it has a car has AC. Car has That's AC. important. How much yes. power is the car making at a 1.6 liter? So we got a dyno tuned about a month ago. It's making about 300. Really? Yep. That's impressive. It's on uh, fuel tech. So I was I did have it on uh, Megascore for a long time, and about a month ago we had an electrical problem that fried everything in the car. Yeah. Gotcha. ECU, all of it. So I ended up stepping up to the fuel tech because everybody seems to be running fuel tech these days. I'm like, you know, what? I'll go to World, try it out. So we slapped it together real quick, and only but a three weeks ago, I got it dyno tuned. I've not even made a pass down the track with it in this new setup. Gotcha. Um, the old setup, we were running 12.5s on only 10 pounds of boost. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's running over 22 pounds of boost. Oh, geez. I'm not going to run that right now. I want to well, wait until the last day. What kind of ETs are you hoping to run average throughout the week? Average, I'm in the 13.0 class. Okay. It's my first year. I just want to try to make it through. Yeah, but no, that, that should be your first goal is just to make yes, it back I here. I want to make it through, but on the last day, one, once I make my 13.0 pass, I'm happy with on the last day, we're turning it up. We're, we're going all the way up. Right now, the fastest street Festiva is an 1178, and I want to smash that record. <laughs> so, okay. It's been, like I said, it's been a 12.5 on only 10 pounds of boost. Gotcha. So we're 
We, we should be able to on 20, 22 pounds of boost. Hopefully you run an, a, a decent average and we see yep. you back here on Friday. That is the plan. Uh, we've, in, in short of a catastrophic failure, we have about anything we need to fix whatever. Okay. <laughs> here. Well, good luck. Appreciate it. We'll see you out there, man. Thank you. Yep. This is cool. I like this. Thirty-two at ninety-nine. Oof! Letting the world on fire there. Changes the car? Um, just freshen the motor up mostly. Okay. Yep. Changed some four-lane stuff, found some broken brackets and stuff like that last year. So we shook the tires pretty bad on two point off, so we kind of went through everything and gotcha. took fix it all up. Alright. Goal for the week. Well we shoot an ET at me. What do you got? Low sevens. Low sevens all yeah, week? My goal for the year is a six, but I don't think we'll do it on this track. Okay. Low sevens and make it back here on Friday. That's right. Alright. That's pretty easy, right? Super easy. Super easy. <laughs> That was the most forced fight. You're like, yes, super, <laughs> super easy to get this thing back here on Friday. Well, uh, have the have the AC on because I remember that. Those My, suck. Yeah, well, have the AC on. <laughs> and uh, good luck, guys. All right, we'll man. see you tonight. Yeah. Well, the Hearst got a trailer. So we have a trailer this time. We this do. is a new addition. The longest car here. And I built a trailer hitch for it. I was about to say, like, apparently you didn't have enough space inside yeah. the car. I guess all the bars probably get in the way. It, it's not as easy to pack as you think. Right. But those tubs back there take up a lot of room. I like the, where'd you get the coffin? Was that just like a, <laughs> was that a marketplace pickup? You can or? find anything on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> it really was? <laughs> it was. Oh, this uh, guy had it, uh, he pulled it behind an old, I don't even remember. Oh, it was a whole trailer situation already. He had a, like a 20 or 30s car and he pulled, his thing was Halloween. Okay. So he had that all decked out already as a trailer. I just modified. What are you hoping for this week? Make this thing even faster? Uh, well, last year, like, right now, this is the fastest hearse on the planet, correct? With a, uh, it's according to Guinness Book of World Records. And what ET is that? Uh, Guinness record right now, officially, is a 9.54. And you've done faster than that? I went 9.0 at Tulsa last year. Okay. What the, what's the goals for the, for the hearse for the week? Finish. And if I can run an eight at every track, I'll be happy. All right. How many hits you got under the belt on this thing right now? Not as bad as the Four, five. Okay. So it's a proven eight second purse at this point. It almost bracket raced eights at LS. That's a, that's a good. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. It's a good sign. Yeah. Well, Take good luck. Video. Glad seeing the hearse here. Thanks. I like the trailer. Thank you. We'll see you out there, man. You have to check the inside. Oh yeah. Royce's Mustang, he should have been way, that thing's a seven second car, he should have been way out, way out on the hearse, not going by right with it. So, good pass for the hearse though, one, or 864 at 160, that's pretty good. All right, we noticed two things about this Buick. One, 
the headlights cut out. Two, I think it's got R triple eights on the front. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, well, I see that ZZP sticker. All right, so I got I got a couple questions. First of all, are these R triple eights on the front? What yeah. tires are you running on the front? Yeah, they're R triple eights. R triple eights. And I saw there's the headlights cut out. What do you got under the hood? What are we looking at? Just a supercharged 3800, uh, intercooled, running on ethanol. What kind of power are you making out of it? Three, 350-ish. Mm, really? <laughs> okay. What, what kind of ETs are you hoping for this week? I'm um, hoping 13.0. Okay. That's the class. That's the class you're in, 13.0. Well, if I get in, I'm on the wait list right now. Gotcha. Well, I had to come talk to you because I saw the tire and I saw the headlight cut out. I've never seen that on a Buick ever. So, <laughs> good luck to you, man. Thanks. CLK? How's it going? Good timing, guys. Oh, uh, hell yeah, I gotta put that sticker where on. Where should I put it? It's This one's staying on the car, so. It's, it's, if it's staying on the car, it's gotta go either here thinking, or up there in the center. I was thinking right there. Deal. All right, make it happen. Now, while you're doing that, I gotta talk to you about this thing. All right. First of all, I've never seen one of these cars on a tire like this, so. That's it might be the first one on might a tire be the first like one. that. I don't know. I had to have those wheels custom made. Also, the fact that it has bigs and littles on it and the clear coat, what well, you decide was not important, which I support. It's pre-patina. I like In that. In 10 term. years from now, if patina is still cool, this car is going to be awesome. Oh, well, fair. That's fair. What is the setup on the Mercedes? It's, uh, it's first of all, CLK 55. It is a CLK 55. Okay. Um, it's got a 5.4 liter Mercedes V8. It's got a supercharger. Um, makes about 500 to the wheels. And uh, at sea level, it was a mid 10 second car. So we'll see what we do up here. I, I'm hoping to run a 10 at each track. What class are you in? Um, limited street. Okay. So I'm just, I'm not trying to be competitive. I didn't want to do you an just index want to class. The week. I just want to finish the week. And if I would put myself in an index class, I'd be trying to hit that number. And I don't want to be hot lap in the car. I'm just, I hear you. I'm going to relax and not try and win anything, just try and finish. So. And you're from Oregon. Is that right? Oregon. Yeah, we drove down here, uh, Corey and I. Team drove down, two day trip, two day trip here, two day trip back. It's, it's quite a haul. But Did you drive the car here? No, no. We, okay. We, we, we trailered it. Tens all week and you'll be happy. Yeah. If I can get a 10999 at each track, I'll be happy camping. Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. I like the setup. I, like I said, we're driving by, I was like, what is that Mercedes doing over there? And I, we had to come talk to you. So right. good luck. We're rooting for tens, man. All right. We'll see you around. See ya. <laughs> For the CLK, 978 for the Mustang. So this year they're doing a whole bike class. Anybody with a motorcycle, one of them just rolled in, oh, and uh, I'm gonna talk. What the hell is going on here? Just like the movie thing. How's it going? It's Why going. So a couple things we don't normally do is talk to motorcycles. Well, still and you were rolling in, and uh, what, what's going on here, man? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you roll by. I heard, I heard it, and I looked. I was like, "There's a turbo on the side of there." There is. There is. Uh, 2001 Honda Valkyrie. All right, Honda Valkyrie. All right. It's, so it's a, basically a naked gold wing. Okay. What it is. It's good you're explaining this because I literally don't yeah. do bike stuff. Yeah. So. so unfortunately, it's not actually owned by me. I just get the pleasure of piloting it. What? Okay. It's that man. It's right there, Dustin Moody with Moody Performance and Design. Okay. Um, he built this bike all himself for a friend of his and then ended up being able to get it back. And he just lets me ride it. That's fair. So, what is the 
What's the turbo setup on it? What are we looking at? Uh, this is the coolest thing. Is this a T? What's this? A T6? And I've done all sorts of stuff with the GT26. GT26. Ball bearing turbo. It's fun. It's spicy. For a big, heavy bike, it's a spicy bike. There's a bunch of drag and drive events. Yeah, 13 pounds. Okay, 13 pounds? What motors come on these things? It's a 1500 cc, a full six cylinder. So it's got a flat six? Yep. Okay. Okay, and this is making how much power stock and how much power uh, now? 100, a little less than 100 horsepower stock and about 100 foot pounds of torque, uh, 13 pounds of boost. We had on the dyno to fine tune the ignition and we got 193 horsepower and 163 foot pounds of torque. 193 horsepower yep. on this thing? Yes. It sounds fun. It's fun. Very fun. I like. The, I, I, first of all, I looked over because I saw the trailer. I was like, all right, that's smart. This guy is obviously ready for race week. And then I looked more. I was like, wait, that's a turbo hanging out the. Is it really? Yeah, it's got on the other side. And you you built this thing? Yes, sir. And he just gets the he gets the drive. Uh, carbureted originally. It's custom fuel injected now. Really? Okay. I, like I, I told him, we don't normally cover bikes or really look at bikes that much. This thing's cool. It is cool. I like it, guys. Thank you. For Thanks for bringing it out. Good luck this week, boys. Something just flew off of that bike on the big end. 13.16 at 109 for the turbo bike. Something just blew off the bike. This is our buddy with the LS swapped 3000 GT. What's up? Okay, so I noticed one major difference about your car. It's a little... It's got big tires on the front now. <laughs> Those so, are just for show. Are they? <laughs> okay, so it's LS. LS. So this was the first LS swap 3000 GT I'd seen. First and one you've seen. They've been out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First one I've seen. Yeah. And now it's all-wheel drive again? Yeah, it's got a four-wheel drive transfer case in it now. So you manually put it in a four-wheel drive? Um, it's, it's actually uh, uh, racing in the dirt transfer case, so it's it's full-time four-wheel drive, like chain drive thing. Okay. So it's uh, fit a lot easier, so I didn't have to cut a gigantic hole in the floor. I would imagine. So yeah. It's, a, it's pretty small. But then the front diff is... Uh, uh, from a Colorado truck okay. and it's got a, it's just an open front diff but it's got an axle disconnect so when I'm driving down the road it drives like two wheel drive. Really? And then I can lock the axle in. Huh. So have you made any test passes with all wheel drive um, I did a little uh, no prep test passes with it and I had an issue with the um, ECU is only running on seven cylinders and uh, so Wednesday night put in a fuel tech and harness took everything out and uh, so this and then I did a uh, street I mean Mexico hit, and uh, it's low boost right now but we'll yeah. get it cranked yeah, up in, okay in, uh, what are you hoping for this this, this well week? I'm in the rowdy radial yeah. class so okay. I'll be on these street tires because you can do um, street radials if you're in in, in all-wheel drive so okay. it's eighth mile um, I don't expect anything wild the first pass, but I'd like to get into like 520, 530s. Okay. A quarter mile, what would that be? Uh, uh, like uh, high sevens. Oh, damn. Okay. All right. I'm guessing the all-wheel drive system is, you, you like it more this way? Or you like it? Well, for what we mostly do is like no prep stuff. Okay. And so this puts me into the big tire classes gotcha. usually. Uh, but I think it's going to work out pretty well. It's going to take some time to get yeah, everything yeah, yeah. working. But so far, I'm excited. I had it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah, I'm like, I'm like, man, does it does it do any torque steer off the line? Oh, or is it it's brutal. <laughs> it is like because with that for anything not like set up right yet for the suspension right. and everything. I mean, I was you're totally driving fighting it. So yeah, the first time out, um, I made it to the semifinals in a, in a run runchy run class. So no really? rules other than doors. Okay. And um, so it's I mean it'll do it'll it'll get there. That was first time driving it. Glad to see some changes. I thought it was just. Bit, I was like, oh, there's the LS, the LS 3000 GT. I thought oh, I did it. twin turbos this year too. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to see anything, come on with it. Ooh. So twin 72s this year. What kind of power are we looking at? Uh, 
Yeah. I mean, we should be able. They have them on. So these are twin FP72s. Um, the guys at Mac have them on some other cars, and they've done like 1,400 with Jeez, them. Jeez. Okay. So um, around 30 pounds of boost. This should be around that. Okay. But yeah, well, we're at 12 right now. Pretty stout. Pretty stout. I'd say. <laughs> anyway, good luck this yeah. week. See ya. Hopefully, we see you back here on Friday. Yeah. some issues there not sure what but some issues looks like mr. Tom Bailey finished up his car yesterday and brought it on out mr. Bailey how we doing so not bad did you finish this up yesterday yesterday 10, 10 o'clock last night really you just immediately got on the road or what yep we loaded in the trailer and then drove straight through minus two naps like I, I took a nap uh, but you got it done and it's here what is it give me give me the quick rundown what are we looking so, at with 57 here um, it's basically, it's got Richie's original drivetrain and it. it's got the, the twin turbo LS deal, just okay. a 6 truck block deal. Um, so with, what size are those turbos on there? So, Tiny. just some little ones. So. Some little baby turbos. What are, you, what are you hoping to do with the car this week? Uh, he's going to get his license runs in. He's oh, driving. oh, you're driving it. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah so That's he's awesome. Gonna, he's going to get licensed this week. and. So we'll mess around with it and just run the waste gates. And okay. That's it. So no boost and basically just make it back here on Friday is the goal and get him get him licensed. Yep. Yeah, but he wired the whole car, so we'll see. We'll oh, see so that's on goes. you. Yeah. So. That's all on you. He already has his trains brake button stopped working, so he's already got to fix that. <laughs> so. But. Well, I'm glad I saw you working on this via Instagram. I saw you making posts or whatever. It's like, yeah. oh, I hope they get it done. And I think last night you were at like 8 p.m. and it was still still being worked on. Yep. So. Yeah, it was 10 o'clock last night that he drove it out of the shop into the trailer. That's that's all it did under its own power. <laughs> Is that all the further it's driven so far? <laughs> so, well, glad you guys made it. Good luck this week. Thanks. And uh, good luck driving, man. Thanks. Hell yeah. See you guys up there. Cool. See you, man. Four one thirty. When I say that was a ten thirty four, that was the easiest ten thirty four I've ever seen. They just finished that car literally last night. They started it and drove it on the trailer at ten p.m. last night. That was the furthest they've driven the car. Actually, probably up to the line right now is the furthest they've driven the car. So they're getting everything figured out, making sure everything's safe, and they're going to pour a little power to it later on here. This is a unique little build. It's a very unique little car. We're going to find out everything about it. What's up, Shaggy? Morning. So you, I don't. How many cars do you actually own? I don't know. It's do question, dozens at this point. Uh, yeah. So this is one of your more unique cars, I think, to me anyway. I try. This is a Saab, Correct. but it's on a what chassis? It's Miata. Everything structural, electrical, or mechanical is Miata. It's just the body. Just the body. It's. How was the swap done exactly? Um, everything was cut apart. Uh, the previous owner actually did it. I didn't do it. Um, they cut apart the Saab and cut apart a Miata and put them together, <laughs> like Legos. So it's basically it's basically you're, you're just driving a Miata. That's a coupe yeah. now, basically. Yeah. It's that, ten inches longer. Oh, it's lo okay. It's, it's a little longer, but, but it drives and feels everything else like yeah, a Miata. It does. It really does. <laughs> So what's the goal with the car for the week? To make it. This is the first real drive with the car. How long you had the car? You've had it a year or two, yeah? I've had it probably about a year. Um, the previous owner built the car and then drove it down his driveway and back. Okay, so, so you've driven it already further than he I've ever has. I've driven it way farther than he has. And what year Miata or what year Saab is this? The Saab is a '68. '68. Is it titled and everything as a Saab yes. or as a Miata? Okay, gotcha. Yep. What else should we know about this, this thing? It's so weird looking. Yeah, it's... I'm guaranteed nobody even knows what it is just at looking at it. They correct. have to look for a badge or something. Right. Yep. Out of your cars, I think this is probably one of the weirdest ones. So, congrats. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks. Congrats. <laughs> Good luck this week, man. Thank you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
1941 at 105 miles an hour for Shaggy. Race week hasn't even started and our friend Parker is already pulling a trans. Winnie, how many Supers have you seen on race week before? Man, not many, if any at all, and let alone something that looks as serious as this. How's it going, boys? How's it going, guys? Oh, we got your good angle there. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. So I can't, whose car? Mine. Yours? Yeah. So I can't say I've seen very many uh, Subarus on race week. No. I think if, it's only been uh, Sean's and Silas from last year at 2.0. And this thing looks pretty serious with the tires that you have on it. Yeah. What's it? Give me a quick rundown on the Subi. What do we got? Uh, VHSC 2015, uh, his stage 5 block. Right. Uh, what is it? Shoot. 64, 66, BTS, rotated kit. Um, running on Pumpy 85 right now. Okay. We did a couple little upgrades to the transmission. Still, gotcha. Stock tranny, just uh, upgraded output shaft, uh, dry shaft, upgraded rear axles. What's the goal with the Subi for the week? Um, try to average like a 9.5. Really? Yeah. That'd be nine impressive. Five. I think it's um, gonna go like a 9.9 to a 10.2. Yeah. That's what we're thinking. We're think trying to figure out altitude in this turbo. Yeah. If we want the car to live in right. this motor. I foresee it being a little bit slower. You know, obviously we want to try to do good at this density of air. We're at 1,800 feet right here. So we'd like to get you know our time in here, mm -hmm. and then throughout the day average and stay closer to that 9.5, obviously. But I think it's going to be. You want to average nines throughout the week, right. if, if that's the goal. Goes right, right. Yeah. Now, uh, is this your guys' first race week? Yeah, this yes. is my first one. I've been okay. trying to get it for like five well, I'll years. Well, I'll tell you this real quick. The goal. I know you guys want it. You guys want to do well. Your goal should be getting back here on Friday. Yeah, that's, that's that's exactly number one is. goal right there. Because a lot of guys are gonna be like, well, I'll, uh, I see a lot of first timers. They're like, my goal is this, this. I want to be top three. Right. And then by the end, of, by by the time I talk to you guys on day four or five, you'll be like, we just want to finish. Yeah, I guarantee that's, that's, that's how it's gonna go. That's, that's true. That's no a, we're not swinging for a festival now. The final the day. The last day. Oh, everybody's gonna light it up last day. You gotta, you gotta turn it up. Party motor to oh yeah! Oh yeah! I like it. Yeah. I can't say I've seen a Subaru at this level. What kind of power is it making? Uh, right now it makes a little over 800. A little over 8? A little over 8. Not yeah. bad. Well? A little over 8. Um, it's on a Haltec 25 Elite, 28, 9, 15s, small brake kit from Google. All the way around? All the way around. I like it. I like the, it. Looks, it looks pretty tough this way. Yeah. I saw Subi on big meaty tires. I was like, I got to talk to these guys real quick. So. <laughs> no, Trying to good. party. Hell yeah. Trying to party. Well, go yeah, get so go get teched in, and we'll yeah. see you guys later yeah, on yeah, making make, make a pass. Yeah. Later. No problem, man. Take later, care. <laughs> Part of his qualifying to get your NHRA qualifications and your license, and you have to show that you can control the car. So doing a half track pull, a quarter track pull, a couple of those, showing that you can control the car and you can let off the gas and let on the gas when you want. That's part of it. So that's what he's doing right now. That's his first pass literally ever down a track, ever. And he did it in one bad machine. By the end of the week, he should get more comfortable and that thing's gonna put up some times hopefully. So. Be able to look out for that. How's it going? How you doing, Fred? I wanted to make a point to come over and talk to you because it's a rotary. Yes. And I didn't know if it would make it to tomorrow. So. <laughs> it's a good joke. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the first one you've heard today. No, not the first one. It probably won't be the last either. All right. What are we doing with the car? Well, what, what, get, first of all, what's the setup on it? It sounded like it was pretty pretty healthy. Yeah. No. Um, the car is a uh, two rotor, 13B turbo block, precision turbo, uh, E85 ethanol. 
uh, ignite fuel, and um, we don't know what it's going to be. So we're going to see. I mean, it's got a TKO faceplate transmission, so we're going to run stick shift with it. Uh, I don't know. I don't think any other rotaries are really doing race week. I have never seen one at a race week. I've seen a lot of RX-7s doing them, you know, but nothing with a rotary. Exactly. And uh, all the content and everybody that uh, does this event, it's just kind of one of those things, especially last year, uh, with no real racing and a lot of tracks closed. It was like, everybody's doing this. I was like, we're going to convert it into a street setup and see if we can make this happen. Okay, okay. Try to see if we can do the five-day event and go all the way through. So I think in the last couple of years, it's been about 1,400 miles on top of the race day. Yep. So, you have your work cut out for you. I, I, I have some things in my back pocket. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got prepped? So, what's I the worst thing that could possibly happen? You blow your, you blow your apex seals? No. No? No, I'm unbreakable. Okay. Yep. All right. What next? What, what else we got? Uh, oil is probably the biggest concern. So, okay. oil temperature is going to be the biggest threat for this event going through the mountains and stuff. And it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. Yeah. Coolant, not really cared about. Coolant temperatures, it's fine there. Just oil. The oil taps gotcha. are going to be really tough, especially towing a trailer. So we got a little mini trailer because this thing's like a little princess car. It's very needy. <laughs> so it's got a lot of things that have to go with it right. to make everything work to do. Hopefully, you know, I mean, we're going to try to see if we can click a 10 second pass, you know, and be consistent with that throughout the week. So I'd like to see in that way. Okay. I don't want to show up here with this type of a car and run 11 or something. You know what I mean? Like, no, but that would be tough. 10s all week and making it back here on Friday would be huge. It would be huge. I, I'm sorry I had to open this with a rotary joke, but I feel like you're going to get them all week. So I will. Yeah, it's not the first one. If you make it back here on Friday, I will not say a single rotary joke all day. I Thank promise. You. I promise. Thank you. you got to make it back on Friday, though. i got to be here on Friday. Yeah. Deal. Good luck to you. Thanks, man. Absolutely. I it. Hell yeah. That thing is going to drone going down the road. There's a freaking rotary car here! What? Just got done with all the true street classes with all the indexes that's 14 13 all the way down to 9 0. They just called every other class in the lanes and they're all here. they're all trying to get that second pass trying to get a good pass in before they head to pueblo tomorrow and there's a lot of cars in the lanes we're calling thomas in the lanes right now thomas passes on the property right now i'm sure royce is gonna have something to say about that if he if his car makes a good pass and then we have guys the wagon, mile guys. Got this crazy looking thing. We'll call that eight mile times if we I got go. Ruby, we've got the mullet machine over there. If I don't. So it is 10.35 right now. We're supposed to get down at 10, but they're extending a little bit. So after all these cars are run, we are done. And we're going on to Pueblo tomorrow. So here we go. What are we doing this time, Tom? We're going to. We're going to uh, drive rear. Drive. I, just, I didn't stay on the chip long enough. We only built five pounds of boost. Right when it started to build boost, I let the trigger go. So I can't blame it on the tuner. <laughs> I, went back, I went back there and said, I said tuner's fault, tuner's fault. <laughs> Steve goes, the hell, you're in right here. You didn't stay on the chip long enough. So it's my fault. So we're going to go out there and see what it do. Trying to get in them sixes or just? No, I'm just going to try to make it. I'm going to try this time here to try to get down to, I like to run a 30. Okay. You know, and if we run a 30, that's got to be great. And that, because I, I think right now I'm in the lead. Yeah, I believe so. But, but Royce is going to go as well. Yeah, Royce so. has got to go at the end too, so, you know, and him and I are running about the same. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. Hopefully we see a battle throughout the week. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you don't hope so, but I do. <laughs> good luck, man.
more toms. Yes, I agree. The Tom's world a good needs guy. more toms. All right, Blaine, what's he running? I don't know. Track's not really there. Track's not there? Fred's down. Yeah, and what are you thinking? Give me ET. I hope for a 1090. Uh, just something in the tents? Loving Christy riding I along want a with 10. her husband. Okay, all right. Rob, Loving in that old yellow gas. Hey, he said he wants a 10. Hey, we're Fred shooting to average 10s this week. week. That's so he said. He said he wants a 1090. So 99 with a nine, we're good. All right. Well, I don't know if we'll get it, but we're going to give her hell. Good luck to you. Thank you. Dude. What are you running? What are you doing? So I went a uh, 793, right. 177. Saw everyone struggling to go down. So I was like, all right, I'm not going to go out there and be like everybody else. I'm going to go out there and be. So I left really soft. There's only three pounds of boost and it just went. So I turned up the leave a little bit. So you know, hopefully do a 50 something to a 760. Okay. -ish. So what's the best ET in the class so far? I'm not sure, but I think it is my 7. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Seven well, it'll still be nice to pad that lead a little bit. Yeah, okay. so I just want to up it a little bit. Make them press. Well, good luck. Harder. 50s or 60s, good luck to you, man. Thanks, buddy. Oh, yeah. What's, what's the game plan this round? What are we doing? Not suck. That'd be a good we, like, one. We threw the kitchen sink at it earlier, and it was... It just didn't take it. Just, we made it approximately two centimeters, and then it spun, so... Okay. We're hoping for a lot more centimeters. A to B pass would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Something. I turned it like way down. And I just really hope it. Because we're only at one more, so yeah, hopefully this we is just. The last one. All right. Do you have any guesses at ET? You're just going to hopefully just. I'd like to see a 780. Okay. If, it's, if it's feeling good, I'll, I'll hit the scramble and try it. Well, what's the scramble good for on this thing? Um. I don't know, it only really ran like 25 pounds of boost, and that's what it's set for up top, okay. so maybe it'll make 30. Oh, cool. that'd be spicy. So we'll just see. Alright, 780? Perhaps, hopefully. Hopefully 780. Alright, good luck. Thanks. <laughs>
can't be on the wall, man. There's no time on the cars. Here is.